Hey guys, Tark with Cyclone FPV, and I am kind of stumped today. I've got an issue, and I'm trying to help a customer out, and we are, well, I'm stumped. I won't say he's stumped, because he's not sitting here. Um, he is back in Louisiana, super nice guy, and uh, so he sent me his quad, and it's right here. I'm going to show it to you right now, so let me do a picture-in-picture picture here. Boom, 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 there you go. There's his quad. It's a Spectrum 132, and what he was trying to do is he was trying to put on this Lemon RX uh, 000, I was at 0037. I think this is the diversity satellite receiver. And here is my uh, uh, 0008 uh, uh, satellite receiver, not diversity. Okay, so here's the deal. Um, first of all, the issue is coming into play that we're trying to do this in um, DSM X protocol and not DSM 2, and um, it's failing on the diversity one, it's failing. But on the uh, non-diversity satellite receiver, it's working fine. So let me show you what I'm experiencing. And I, I'm doing this for the customer too. I told him I would show him what's up, uh, what we've been going through with this. So here goes. I'm gonna move the quad over here a little bit and I'm going to set this here. And we're gonna do our binding with the DX6. And I made this little piece here with the five volt inverter so that we could um, get this set up without any issues. So let me go ahead and turn this on. And I'm gonna plug in the um, uh, his receiver first and we're going to set it in binding mode so we power it up so you can see it blinking rapidly that's binding mode and I'm going to go ahead and turn the receiver off or the transmitter off okay and I'm going to now pay attention to what happens here I'm going to hold the button down and power it on wait for it to say it's in binding mode okay so it says it bound DSMX 22 milliseconds right says bind complete, but you see how this light is constantly blinking, it's not solid? Well, this is exactly what's gonna show up when we try to connect. So I'm gonna disconnect this and unplug the receiver. I'm gonna plug this back in now. All right, just like that, and I'm gonna connect it and power this up. Now, I've got beta flight loaded too, so you can watch this here. So what's gonna happen, right, and this isn't a configuration, I've got it set for um, 2048, so let me go to receiver real quick. And here's what you're gonna see. Once I move these, I believe, you're gonna start seeing, uh, you should start seeing this thing blink here in just a second. Let me make sure we get that going. There we go. So you see how we're blinking here? And, and basically, you're gonna start seeing our signals, and I'm just gonna hold one of the keys down or one of the sticks down. You're gonna see it's going in and out. Every time it blinks, it goes in and out, okay? And I mean, it's, it's constant like that, right? So there, that's the problem we're having, right? But now watch this. If I take this off and I go ahead and I do the same binding with our other one, okay? So let me go ahead and get this ready. So I'm gonna plug this in, power off our radio, plug this in here, and then I'll flip the switch and we'll get this binding again. Okay, here goes. Let's get this blinking. We're gonna hold this down, turn it on. Here, I'll give you a bigger. Oh, yeah. Okay, it's gonna bind. We've got DSMX here, but now we've got a solid red light, okay? And when I go now and disconnect this, I got a customer here, by the way, and I plug it in now, okay? Oops, let me go ahead and plug the receiver in first, and then plug it in. Okay, I'm gonna be bound. And if you look at the beta flight screen, everything is gonna be working like normal. Okay, so now we're fine. And we can get the quad, I can get the quad to arm. Let me go ahead and go to motors. Hey, you can come on in, it's okay. I'm gonna to go to motors. I'm gonna turn this on. And look at, you see the motors running, okay? So if you wanna see that, you can see here. Let me do this for you. You'll see now the motors are running, okay? Everything is functioning properly. Here's the kicker though. So let's say now I go back and I take this off and I take his old receiver and put it back on. Well, I can't put it back on just yet. Hold on, I need to bind it again real quick. Let me rebind now. What's up, Jess? How you doing? How you doing, sir? All right. Good to see you. Good to see you, man. All right, so let me go ahead and I'm gonna plug this back in. I'm gonna rebind now. But now watch this. So instead of binding in DSMX, I'm gonna bind in DSM2. So I'm gonna click hold this down go down to my dsm2 system setup yes go to my frame rate and i'm going to tell it i want it mode to dsm2 
next, and then I'm just gonna get out of there, right? All right, so now I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna turn this on, start binding. You're gonna see the light blinking fast. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and pull my bind button, turn it on. Now I'm at DSM-2, I got a solid light, okay? Bind complete, so now I'm gonna take this off. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I'm gonna take this off, thank you. And I'm gonna go ahead, plug it into the quad. Sure. And here we go. All right, so now we're gonna wait for this, and there you go. So now look, I'm gonna go up to configuration in Betaflight. So let me do this, switch it over. I'm gonna drop down to 1024 instead of 2048. Click save. And when I log back in, I've got a solid signal and I'm back to normal, okay? So the question is uh, why this will not, and this is supposed to be able to do it, but it's not happening between the two, but this receiver will work uh, in, uh, in, in, in the second, in the first mode, and we are able to bind it, and we are able to control it uh, using the um, Spectrum 2048 um, and DSMX, and we don't have to go to DSM2. So that's the problem we're having right now, guys. If anybody's got any input here, um, it would be greatly appreciated because, as far as I'm concerned, we can arm it; it functions. I don't know if there's a problem with the receiver, and we've been spending too much time to solve that because this one works. And then we've got some older receivers. They were laying around here as well. I don't know where I put them now, but they all bound and did the same thing. Everything functioned properly except what was expected out of this one here. And I really don't know where to take it from there on that one. All right, guys, if you have any uh, input, please let me know. You can always email me, use our, uh, use our um, contact page, and then please follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And there's Travis back there just looking around. <laughs> so what's up? All right, thanks, guys. Be safe. God bless. Talk to you soon. Bye.